My first prayer in US military custody was with my hands tied behind my back, my legs facing forward with a, sh a strap across them and a hood over my head. They took me into this airplane with many other brothers, forced us down and tied us down in the way I've described. The sounds of screaming prisoners, roar of the engine, dogs that's barking at us. And then next to me, when I'm seated, there's a brother, he speaks to me. He says, Akhi, assalamu alaikum. I say, wa alaikum assalam. I can't see him because I have a hood over my head. And so does he. I asked him, where are you from? He said, and I'm in Libya. And then he says words that will shock you to the core. In my mind, I thought, are they going to kill us? But in his mind, he said, Akhi, have you prayed Maghrib prayer? Because I think the time for Maghrib prayer has come. He's saying that to me over all of that noise. And I thought, subhanallah, at this time, I forgot. La dhuhr, wa la asr, wa la maghrib. I forgot everything. I just thought life or death. But this guy is thinking, inna salata kanata al mu'minina kitab al mawquta. So I say to him, Akhi, you're on the left, lead the prayer. So how is the prayer? No qibla, no takbir al ahram, no ruku, no sajda, no wudu, none of the basic arkan of salah, none of them. When I say to the brother, Fasalli, an American soldier comes and he puts a knife to my neck. He puts a knife on my neck like this. And he says, if you speak again, I'll slit your throat. At this point, the brother, he says, Allahu Akbar. And we began our first prayer in American military custody.